Yo, 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 it's the Rise Podcast in the building with Coach Calvin Ford. Coach Calvin, what's on your mind today? Man, I just got some breaking news, man. It hurt me to my heart, man. I know how a fighter feel when a fight fall out. Um, that they can't make something, man. I've been training hard as shit, man. And I was informed that the commissioner trying to look out for myself and bullet rolling in the on a on a commissioner note that um I think the age forty, forty five, that they can't license a a boxer or athlete after that age. You know, bullet I think he's forty fifty one and I'm forty eight. I mean it's sad all the promotion that we put into it. I wanna give shout outs to Bullets for taking the challenge, man. You know, he's been a real sport about it and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? I've been training hard as shit sometimes. <laughs> I got to a point where I was like, why the fuck I'm doing this? You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I knew why I was doing it. I want to get a chance to show my kids that at any age or who who you are, anything that you want to do, just put your mind to it. You get what I'm saying? But again, you know, rules are rules. Uh, we have a new commissioner here. I know my man Pat was here. You know, he would approve it because, you know, I stays in shape and whatnot, you know, and I know how to defend myself. You got to remember, I train the face of boxing. You know what I'm saying? But... It hurts, man. I mean, I'm hurt. Um, I really wanted to do this. You know, I had a lot of things, you know, that I wanted to happen, you know. Um, but we still got a good card coming on. I just want everybody. I want to say every. I want to say to everybody, thank you. You know, um, but come on out to support this card, man. You know, we got two kids, a female and a male, fight for titles. You know what I'm saying? Um, legit titles and. We got a nice card it's featuring some of the kids that's coming up, a couple of um, debuts, some that got experience and whatnot. Um, just trying to have a party for the city, man, uh, and whatnot. Yeah, but that's that's the news, y'all. I would not be fighting Bullet on this card because of my age, his age. Um, I got to give it to the new commissioner. He know he was all for it. You know what I'm saying? But again, he's the new guy on the scene. They got a board watching over what he do and whatnot. You know. And he went to bat for us. He went to bat for us. Um, my sister Nick, she a new promoter. Um, you know, how would I say? They say she's on the job learning too about the, the do's and the don'ts and whatnot. But I want to say thank you to everybody, man. Still, it's going to be a fantastic show, man. Come on out and support, man. Uh, and do that for me, you know. I truly would appreciate that. I seen, you. I seen you told me you had a few things left. I seen you made that run. Yeah, I, I did. see you made that run. I was like, yeah, look at it. I woke up. I was like, okay, look at him, man. Didn't um, hear this, man. It's kinda... I, ain't, I ain't do that run in, I think, about five years since the last time Tank ran. You know, Tank used to run in and whatnot. Uh, I used to get doing it in 45. It took me an hour this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, but I did it. You did it. That yeah. I mean, you said that, that's one of the last things you had to do yeah. to, to really stamp where you was at. So, you know what I mean? Like, you train hard. We all witnessed the, the hard work and dedication that you put in. And it doesn't go unnoticed. Yeah, but it hurts. It hurts. Now, what's the possibility? So that's for Maryland. Is it possible that y'all well, can change hoping, the location? I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I don't know the rules in Vegas. I don't know the rules. You know what I'm saying? I'm hoping. Um, Elliot was teaching me. He said, "Yo, go buy a yacht. <laughs> <laughs> go out the middle of the ocean and fight." But you know, I got a few ideas. If me and Bullet still want to do it, you know. Um, that I, I could I, I could I could figure it out. You know, it's just something that was on my bu- my bucket list that I wanted to do. Can you handle another cat? <laughs> <laughs> Can you I'm handle blown, another yo, training cat? That's a question. good though, yo. That's the thing, yo. I, you know, and thank you, thank you for that. You know, because mm. my body look good. <laughs> my uh, strength and conditioning coach Russ said, "Yo, I see abs, <laughs> I see abs." You know, he was calling everybody saying, "Yo, cat, I'm look good," and then you witnessed me, you know, sparring the youngins in here. Yeah, I was on. It was real excited I was, for I was, me. I was on YouTube today telling somebody like, yeah. "Man, y'all understand, Coach Cal? be with them young boys every day yeah. in that ring, banging." Yeah, yeah. And ain't so, no, ain't no holding back on nobody. Yeah. In. And um, one of the young kids said, "They said, yo, you inspired me so much." So, that's my story, y'all. Um, we're doing a media workout today, and then the way in tomorrow. Too bad I can't be a part of that. Well, you're a part of it in every way, though, Coach. Yeah, you but... You know what I mean? You made, you made everything possible. I want it to come to something that you're so close. And it's just... Well, you, 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 you've been places that a lot of people ain't been. And you... You understand the one thing about... 
being that close, yeah. sometimes it just ain't meant for you. You know yeah. what I mean? Cause you don't know what's around that corner. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, so you know what I mean? Sometimes you just believe like, oh wow, 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 but yeah. we don't understand. Like around that corner, we don't ever know what it transpired. So it's like you did everything you supposed to do. You know what you're capable of. Yeah. You know what you can handle. And I mean, that was a tough training camp. Ain't nobody take it easy on you. None. And you ain't take it easy on yourself. No, I did. I did everything. Coaches was really happy with me, and they couldn't believe it. You know, when I listened to my my uh, my coaches, I got I had four coaches different times. Like, yo, nigga, you lying about your age. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but again, I understand that they trying to look out for my safety, look out for bullet safety and whatnot. Um, medicals looked good. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You gotta look at it this way. I'm in, I'm sure you inspired more than one person. Yeah. To, to, to travel along this journey, just from seeing what you were capable of, what you was doing, the work you was putting in. The kids definitely looked up to you because Coach Calvin in the ring, Coach Calvin yeah. crazy. Look at Coach. You know what I mean? So it wasn't for nothing because yeah. you inspired you inspired more people and you made more people aware of what you got going on in the journey that 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 you trying to take these kids to. So yeah. it was it definitely wasn't for nothing, but man, I salute you because I told you when you got out of that ring, you a crazy motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. man, ain't no way. You said to him, you said shit. I see where that nigga get that <laughs> I shit see from. Where Tank get that shit from? Both of y'all some crazy motherfuckers yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was I, I was truly wanted to do this. You know, I was looking forward to it. I, I pictured my walkout, my uniform. And you know, I was doing a Tank Davis move. I, everybody was like, "Yo, what he wearing? What he wearing? <laughs> what, what, what he wearing?" I just, you know, but it hurts. Hurts, man. Man, it hurts. Hurts. We we know we know that German Shepherd still got a little bit left in the yeah, tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Coach Kenny said this is that old German Shepherd. <laughs> we know it still got yeah, something left in the but, tank. So you know what I mean. Yeah. You know, you never know what might happen down the line. Yeah, you know. But I just want to thank the people that called me. You know, let me know that yo, I got your back. I'm still coming out. You get what I'm saying? Cause this it's, 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 this is a testimony. You get what I'm saying? But I still wanted to get that first fight, yeah. that first and last fight, <laughs> and I wanted to get that job. It's, it's still possible. It's the first of many events to come. So yeah. you know what I mean, it's, it's still possible. Yeah, I want to thank you, man. Appreciate you. No, I appreciate you, Coach. You gave us this platform. Thank you. You, you put us in this position. So that's why I said, like, everything you're doing wasn't for nothing, mm -hmm. because you know what I mean, you bringing awareness. Yeah, that's true. Media workout today, y'all. Way in tomorrow. So Way in Friday. Yeah, Friday. See, open that, to the public today, media workout? Yeah, media workout open to the public. Come yeah. on by, see some of the young fighters that's actually fighting, man. I mean, I, I'm looking forward, man. Um, Mia, Too Sharp, Demai, um, uh, Shucks, man. Raphael, Twin, uh, Jalil Hackett. The hatchet man, <laughs> you know. So you know, big junior. Don't forget, yeah, big oh Jerry. yeah, yeah, yeah. My little Montana, man, yo, the one that's gonna play tank. <laughs> uh, he's he's fighting his little debut and whatnot. We doing some development, you know. Let him see how I feel. Um, we got we got some nice little kids, man. So come out and see what we're doing, y'all. That's all I ask. Just come out and see what we're doing, and uh, and enjoy yourself. You know, Bob will need this. Before we close out, I was reading something today. It said. Um, Earl and Terrence had the sixth highest gate in Vegas. Wow. Right behind the cash cow, Javante Tank You Davis. lie, yo. Right behind Somebody the cash nah, cow. Yo. Right behind the cash I cow, Javante. I they was going to outdo us. They did, 20, they did a $21 million gate. I just, so we I beat just, them at the gate in the they, same they six, building. They six and y'all five. Hey, that's something. <laughs> so that's you know what I mean. Would you, you how, how you feel about that before hey, we get out of here? Got, look, I'm smiling. Because <laughs> I just, you know, Earl and Crawford, man, they was that that fight was the fight that everybody want to see. Yeah. But goddamn, GTD <laughs> hit them dollars, yeah. yo. <laughs> that made me feel good. Just man. like that. Yeah. yeah Smoothie King, right, right back, back at you with another one. one.